ngayon pagkatapos ng ating unang linggo for MPL Philippine Season 9, meron na tayong team standing. So let's take a look. Ayan na. Uy, ganda ng graphic. DNC, my goodness, number one ngayon. 2-0, 6 points. Top 2, TNC and Echo, talagang wala pa silang game na pinatalo. Sila ang pinakamataas. Followed by RSG, NXPE, they're tied with 3 points. Onyx Philippines, number 5 with 2 points. This is so weird to see. Blacklist International, number 6 at 0-2. Only with 1 point. Omega and Bren, hindi pa sila nananalo. Omega with 2 games, Bren isa pa lang. So, well, Omega Brand, bottom two sila ngayon. Tatandaan natin, the top six will move on, the bottom two will be eliminated. Well, for this um, standings, super parang binaliktad siya ng no, power okay, rankings oh. natin prior MPL Season 9. Binaliktad, tas ginambol jumble pa. Tas ginambol jumble and this is a, a new set of players, new set of teams na pinapakita, na, pinapakita sa atin na kaya nilang manggulat in an instant. Imagine, months ago, uh, Blacklist International, yung nasa tuktok, same goes with Onyx. Ngayon naman, TNC oh, and grabe. Echo, yung uh, nasa tuktok ng standings natin. Uh, part of me is thankful na week one pa lang naman ito. Mm -hmm. So, I like that the surprises are coming now. Tapos mamaya ulit, maybe halfway through, magkakaroon ng reset or solution yung mga teams na nasa bottom. Tapos towards playoffs, baka meron na ng mga ariba. Grabe. Kaya, hey, mga agents John, don't worry. It's still the first week kasi ang dami ko nababasa sa ating comment section. It's just the first week. Season 9 is completely different. Maraming teams nag-revamp. So don't you worry. For sure, may mga ibang ipapakita ang bawat kuponan sa susunod na linggo. So who will make the biggest adjustment? That is the question. O, oh, kumbaga kasi ngayon, um, yung mga teams natin, may sarili-sarili sila nga naging preparation coming into MPL Season 9. And at the same time, ngayon kasi na, na te testing the waters. Yes, they have the strategy. Pero um, may differences kasi kung paano mag adapt yung mga teams natin knowing na itong team na to, ito yung strength nila. So, pag tinanong tayo kanina, sumagot si Manjin, sabi niya, malalaman pa talaga natin kung sino yung mas safe to say na best team as of the moment so week three. Yeah, uh, week three is going to be uh, a bookmark. Parang mm -hmm. ano yan, uh, checkpoint yan kung ano bang ba mangyayari. But uh, you mentioned Manjin. I'd like to mention Rockheart. He kept going on on social media. Even Reptar. Na marami tayong rookies ngayon. Mm -hmm. Rookies uh, being a big part of MPL season nine. If I'm not mistaken, we have 18 players making their debut. Wow. If anything, to mga rookies na to, baka sila X-Factor. Yung mga nasa baba or yung mga nagja-jumble-jumble sa gitna it might be the rookies who actually force another change along the next weeks. Talagang gusto natin makita kung ano nga ba yung mga changes na gagawin ng bawat ko pa na next week. Kaya silipin natin kung ano nga ba ang schedule natin this Friday. Remember, we have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Ayan, RSG versus Bren sa Friday. Susunod dyan ang Blacklist International versus NXPE. My goodness, kaagad oh. Ito talaga Blacklist and NXP gusto kong makita. Oh, ako talaga gusto ko din makita ngayon is yung RSG kasi mainit din yung RSG actually. Uh, even on Seaball. For Bren naman, nandun yung uh, na-setup natin na isa sila sa mga teams na may mga bagong players. And this, those players ay talaga minani yung mga amateur tournaments. So, maybe adjustment period for them. Makikita natin uh, sa week 2 yung... Uh, pinakalakas nila as uh, players. Yes, these two matches, they are uh, good for different reasons. Must watch for very different uh, ways. Yung una, RSG versus Bren, can get very technical. Tapos yung next play, Evos versus Blacklist naman, rookie recovery. Every time, pag sinasabi niyo yung lakas na naririnig ko, lakas, lakas ng na pinas. pinas. Uh. <laughs> now, 